Hi, I'm Veronica. In this video, we're going to talk about Alio. I have already made one video about them, however, that was more of an overview introduction into it. You can still watch it, it is very useful if you don't know anything about it at all. I will leave the link in the description. However, there were still many questions left regarding the tokenomics of the project, and since I became the ambassador for Alio recently, I'm going to address those in this video. Let's still start with what Alio is. Alio is the world's first full-stack development platform for building applications based on zero-knowledge cryptography. The base layer of it is Alio blockchain, which is uh, private by default. There has been no hard date set on the launch of the mainnet. However, the team is aiming for the end of this year, so quarter 3 to quarter 4 of 2022. The native unit of account of the network is Alio credits. Those are used to pay transaction fees, like in Bitcoin. However, unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, those transaction fees are calculatable beforehand. So there is no such a concept of gas, and instead you have a fixed number of Alia credits that you pay for each particular action performed in the zero-knowledge computing. Additionally, Alia credits are anticipated to be the preferred currency for provers who are going to run their layer 2s on top of the network. So overall, Alia credits are used to put a price on computing a zero-knowledge proof of an arbitrary program. And the more extensive and the more complex the program is, therefore the higher is the price in Alia credits. Previously, I also mentioned that there is no such concept as gas fee in Alio. This also means that there is no limit to the running time of the program and therefore its complexity. So what we end up having is an extensive list of use cases complemented by the unlimited complexity that Alio allows for. And thus, Alio credit price should correlate with just how much the use cases of zero knowledge are implemented overall in the world. Now let's move on to the token distribution. All your credits, after the token generation event, are going to be distributed among miners, early backers, and early community members. A part of it is also going to be set aside for network development in the future, and also community engagement and grants to facilitate the development of zero-knowledge cryptography. Miners are going to receive their credits via the block reward. And here is a table in which you can see that the early miners are in fact favored. This is done to make it more appealing to become an early adopter of Alio and therefore make Alio overall secure from the very start since there are going to be more miners interested in it. The major amount of Alio credits is going to be minted in the first three years of the project and you can see that the distribution changes quite a bit. After about three years, Alio has a tail emission rate to keep inflation healthy and therefore promote not holding to Alio credits, but using them for actually zero-knowledge computing. If you are watching this video, you are probably not an early backer of Alio. If you are, I'm very honored. Otherwise, if you still want to participate, there are two ways you can do that, either through an ambassador program or through testnets and development. So let's start with the ambassador program. The first and most important step is to join Alio Discord. There are more than 30k participants who are all very active, so you should also join, participate in contests and try to answer questions if somebody has some and make content for Alio. Like I make videos, for example, some people make translations and guides. The first round of applications ran in April and the second one is expected to be in mid-May and the third one in mid-August. That's the three rounds before the launch of the mainnet. In each round, 30 to 50 participants are selected. After the mainnet launch, the program is overall expected to evolve and grow into probably something else, but as of now there is nothing set. The second way is to develop for Alio or participate in the testnets. If you are a developer, you know better than I do where you should go to GitHub. I'm going to leave the link in the description. However, also join Alio Discord because there they have a specific thread dedicated to development, Snark OS and also Leo language. In Alio GitHub, you will also find a guide to how set up a node. And setting up a node is what you're supposed to do in a testnet. Alio has had two testnets by now, first one not incentivized and second one was incentivized in fact. So the third testnet is expected to be before the mainnet launch and therefore it is also expected to be incentivized, just like the testnet too. However, there is nothing set yet. In any case, if Alio interested you, you should join the Discord server because the announcements are going there first. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or on Discord and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. That was it for this video and thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.